Hi, it's me, live from my gear closet in my studio. I've been seeing a lot of friends posting videos about their opinions about masks and that they're not effective and that they cause you to breathe in toxins and breathe in your waste. And I wanted to clear up some things scientifically. I have a, an oxygen meter here, pulse oximeter. And I made a video like this last week, but I was using a cloth mask. I want to make this with an N95 because I too was curious if I'd be breathing in more CO2. First of a couple things I want to address. The point of <clears throat> the mask, yes, is not, yes, virus can pass through this no problem, okay? The point is, is to lower the dose that's in the air. Let's say a bunch of people to get together in a room. You want to lower the amount of virus particles that are in the air, that are going out into the air. And a lot of those virus particles are attached to water vapor particles. And what this does is this prevents water vapor from coming through my mouth and it will stop the vapor that is holding the virus particles. Okay. So it cuts. So some are going to go through here, but there's going to be a lot less, a lot fewer of the virus particles going out into the atmosphere that people can then pick up. You could be asymptomatic. So what you're doing by wearing a mask to remind people is protecting others. If you're asymptomatic, you don't know. You put this on, this lowers the amount of particles which are suspended in vapor from going out. If I have this off, if you put your phone up and breathe on it with your mouth, you'll see vapor on your phone. Uh, by the way, another thing you can do is just breathe only through your nose because there's a lot less vapor coming in or out through your nose. The nose filtrates, has a natural filtration system. There are two Nobel Prize winning scientists that discovered the nose has this unique ability with nitric oxide to clear out and disinfect uh, viruses because of nitric oxide. So if you're just breathing through your nose, when you go into a public place, it's going to, fewer vi virus particles are going to get into your body as well. So the point is, is that this keeps the virus particles suspended in vapor from going out of your mouth and into somebody else's mouth. That's the point. Yes, free floating virus can go through this, but not the ones in vapor. That's the point. And also it's about a dose. It could just be, there was an article in January that came out by a, a scientist that talked about it's about the dose you get and your health and all that that determine whether you get COVID or not. It's not, um, yeah. So you want to use this to lower the dose that's floating in the atmosphere. Now, to address the point about your breathing in toxins, I'm going to wear this and I'm going to show you that with just normal breathing, it doesn't affect my oxygen level because a lot of my friends have been posting that you're not getting enough oxygen when you're wearing a mask and it's bad for your health. Well, the thing is, is that oxygen and CO2 are both needed by the body. Right now I'm at 99%, just talking right here, 99%. So you need both oxygen and CO2. CO2 signals the release of oxygen from the hemoglobin. Look it up if you don't believe me, okay? So it's not that CO2 is necessarily bad. It's just your body is regulating the amount of CO2 in your system to be a certain amount. So if you breathe in some CO2, it's not a bad thing. Um, the level of CO2 is what signals the breathing hunger, air hunger response. Okay, so now I'm at 99. I'm just gonna put this N95 mask on and I'm just gonna keep talking. And I may, it might go down to 98. So I'll put it like this. Let's just, I'm, I'm just gonna breathe very slowly. And I'm going to show you how it's not going to change much. Okay, 96, 97, 98. I'm going to breathe through my nose. Now it's back to 99. I'm wearing an N95 mask. Plenty of oxygen going to my bloodstream. Plenty of oxygen in my blood right now. Let's see if I'm exercising. Now I'm breathing more through my nose. It's more, if 20% more oxygen is absorbed if you breathe through your nose. Still up there at 99. 
Let's just stand here. I'm going to see if I breathe. Now, granted, I'm actually in pretty good shape. I do Wim Hof breathing every morning. Okay, it went down to 97. Back to 98. I'm breathing fully out into this mask, all of my CO2 out in here, and then I'm breathing in through my nose. Okay, so it went down 2%, but it keeps going back up to 98 every time I breathe in through my nose. 99. <laughs> Wearing an N95 mask, 99% oxygen saturation. Okay, so I'm still wearing it. How many minutes has it been? I have 99%. How much longer do I need to do this to prove that you are not in a, that you're not denying your body oxygen by wearing an N95 mask, let alone a cloth mask? Do some exercise. Let's see. I'm exercising in N95. Okay, it's going down. But if I just breathe more. Okay. Still 98%. So for those of you out there who think that this little inconvenience is causing you to have ill health, is causing you to have health problems, it's untrue. You just need to breathe through your nose. You need to use a mask to prevent the water vapor, the water particles that hold the virus from going out through here. Yes, there are going to be some virus particles that are going to make it out. But the point is, is that this lessens the dose for other people that are around you that may be susceptible. And we do this because we care about others and we want to help others, right? Right? You know, I may be okay without a mask out, outside. I'm healthy. I'm pretty confident that I would be fine. And my dose, if I'm walking outside and somebody passes by me, that dose is not going to make me sick. But if I go in a room where there's been a bunch of people and it's, and it's accumulated, I'm going to put this on to prevent those water particles that hold the virus from going through here. And so this is going to lessen the load on my end as well as your end. It's that simple, folks. It's scientific. You can... Uh, um, Actually, what I should do is link the article below that came out in January that talks about it's about the dose. And yes, masks do not prevent the virus from going in and out. They prevent the water particles that hold the virus, therefore lessen the virus load that goes out. And that's what you want to do because it could just be a matter of 100 particles or 1,000 particles that make somebody sick or not. Okay, I'd love to hear your comments below. I used an oximeter. And when using this, it never went below 97%. Most of the time, it was 98, 99%. I'm healthy. Breathe through your nose. Nat natural uh, antiviral properties by breathing through your nose, not through your mouth. Nitric oxide is produced in your nasal cavity. Boom. Let's be healthy. Pass this video. Share it with the, um, the, the COVID deniers. Share it with them. Share it with the mask deniers. What is so hard? This is like putting on a seatbelt. This is not government domination. This is about wearing a seatbelt. This is about, think of it like secondhand smoke. This is like preventing secondhand smoke. Why do we have a smoking ordinance in Austin? Okay. Comment below. Disagree with me all you want. Find me some evidence to be otherwise. Share this on the COVID denier sites. Share it with your COVID denier friends. Share it with your... Um, COVID um, conspiracy friends. <laughs> Have a great day.